one thing you should know about me, it's that I love school. That's very interesting, Ray. Well, my name is Olivia Hawker, and one thing you should know about me is that I love food. Well, Buena, for our first story today is about football. <laughs> Even though it's currently spring and the football season doesn't start until the fall, our athletes already begin to prepare for next year's competition. Our student reporter, Trey, has the report. Uh, spring ball is just like preparing for the season, you know, it's all season preparation, trying to get the plays again and get back in the business and back into the groove of things, so. Yeah, and I mean, it's, it's the off season, so we're, we're lifting, you know, we got a lot of guys running track, uh, we got a lot of guys in the weight room, so, you know, we're trying to make sure that we're doing enough in the off season to take care of business, so when it comes time for the season that we are prepared. Oh, we got, of course, me playing offense and defense, we got Caleb. Coming out, we got Gio, he's only a sophomore, gonna be a junior. Um, got Timothy Jones, you know, big boy. We got Trey, one-handers all day, no one can stop him. Yeah, it's fine, we're gonna win. Next year, you guys think you will make it to the playoffs? I'm for sure we will. How, how, how are you for sure? <laughs> 11 out of What a great season our football team had this last year. I really enjoyed seeing them play. My favorite was when we won our homecoming game in overtime. Best of luck to our boys next year. Speaking of sports, did you know it costs students hundreds of dollars to play sports here at school? As much fun as playing sports is, it definitely comes at a price. Buena High School students are questioning the outrageous price to play sports and enjoy something they admire, which leads us to the question, are sports expensive or are they fair for the price? How much did you pay fully to play JV cheer the first year? The first year I think it was like something crazy like $500. Well I feel like sports fees are, are very helpful when trying to buy new equipment like nets or balls or new jerseys but I feel like sometimes they really infringe on low income families ability to play sports. Like paying that $150 might be a real challenge for low income families that just can't afford expense like that when they're trying to uh, when they're trying just to survive. So it might be harder for kids like that to play sports and get involved and have a good time. After hearing the students' concern, we went straight to administration and gained more insight. Where does this money go to? The money goes to pay for transportation. Uh, it also goes to pay for our officials uh, for all the sports. Um, and it also goes towards uh, equipment, uh, that, that uh, uniforms or uh, pads or uh, balls, uh, nets, uh, soccer goals even. By receiving several opinions on the sport fees and prices, it is clear that even though the prices are high, they seem to be quite fair for the amount of quality you get back. I've always wanted to run track. Maybe next year you should give it a shot. But even if you're not into sports, Buena has so many other clubs you can be a part of. Take, for example, our award-winning robotics club. Buena High's robotic team, formerly known as Nerds, visited San Francisco, California over spring break for a competition and won a creativity award, as well as making it into the semifinals. We had three different goals. There were two switches, which are just these actuating kind of levers, and then there was a large scale, and we wanted to be able to put these uh, power cubes into all three of these different areas, so that greatly influenced the design of our robot. 51 teams, including Buena High's nerds, took part in the FRC. I learned how to build robot, work in a team better, uh, engineer. I learned how to design better or do better designs for concepts. In all, there were four alliances in the semifinals, which were about 12 teams. Our robot is very different because we used a different mechanism compared to other robots. They use different, um, they use rollers instead of how we use, we use pistons to pick it up. And that was the main difference between our robot compared to everybody else's. Coming up next week is Arizona West. So this is our in-state regional competition. We're hoping to bring home a blue banner from that. With all the awards and competitions the team has earned, 
Currently, the meetings that are after school, our Buena High nerds have really shown off their skills and effort. For a school this large and a community this small, it's so cool that we have clubs like that. Speaking of cool stuff, going on, prom is just around the corner. Prom is approaching with student council releasing the theme for this year, Grecian's Gardens. Tickets are currently on sale, $35 for top 30, $40 for normal students. The prices are due to increase after two weeks starting from now. So the first time ticket prices will change is April 2nd and they go up by $5. And the next time they'll change is the last week of prom and they'll go up again by another $5. Student council is responsible for electing the prom theme along with setup. Although prom was a well-known dance to all students, not everyone can purchase tickets. Uh, the only ones allowed to purchase tickets are juniors and seniors. Even if you're a, an underclassman asked by an upperclassman, they're the only ones who could purchase it. There is no last day to purchase prom tickets. You can actually purchase prom tickets the day of, but prices will be $45. The head of prom planning, Samantha Tiburcio, along with the rest of student council, are doing everything in their power to make prom night memorable due to being the last dance of the year. Hello, Wendy High School. I'm Zach Fitzgerald, here to talk about this year's prom. Prom is going to be on April 21st this year, and it's going to be held at the Rodney Educational Center. Tickets are currently on sale, and will be able to be purchased until the day of prom. Plan to see you there. Well, that wraps up this episode of BTV. I'm Ray Wiesner. And I'm Olivia Hawker. Have a great day, Buena!